Dr. David Katz, an expert on nutrition from Yale Medical School. It says right on the cover you can lose three to eight pounds in one day. That's absolutely ridiculous. Help explain to us how DNA can predict which diets might, might actually work best for us. This genetic testing method really is about a brand new field, nutrigenomics, the link between genes and nutrition. This smoothie can be very good for you. We make our own at, at the cat's house, so my kids make them. But this one has 500 calories and over 100 grams all that sugar. of sugar. This can be the difference between weight control and failing. Not all carbohydrate is created equal. Lentils and lollipops are both carbohydrate. They're very different <laughs> foods. Tell us about the science behind this. The array of benefits that, that seem to be associated with eating olive oil regularly, a reduction in breast cancer, for example, a reduction in other cancers. I'm more concerned about the stuff that makes cheese doodles glow in the dark, to be honest. There are a lot of chemicals in our food supply that we don't pay much attention to. We, we tend to look for quick fix magic for weight control, and we're not going to find it. Weight control, as you know, is about eating well, being active. The feds are planning a nationwide crackdown, yes, on salt. The, the situation is that the Institute of Medicine has reviewed the science and suggests that we should substantially reduce our intake of salt, and for that to happen, the FDA will need to take action. There's a whole new generation of margarines to choose from. We've actually designed spreads with combinations of oils that are not only good for us, they're actually therapeutic and in some instances can be used to help bring down high cholesterol levels. So this isn't margarine anymore, it's medicine? It's both. Well, this is the fourth and final week of our Body and Soul Whole Body Action Plan. Right. I think the pinnacle of sustainable healthy eating is loving food that loves you back. Taste buds are very malleable little fellas. They learn to like what they know. Health experts agree child obesity is an epidemic. 50% of the studies showed that physical activity during the school day actually enhances learning. Hmm. Kids just need to run around periodically, right? Yeah. Yes. So we developed a program that allows teachers to break physical activity up into short bursts throughout the day hmm. when kids need it. To find out more about the link between mood and food. Mood is enhanced maybe by a low-fat diet versus a low-carb diet. We really have a relationship with food and uh, we live with it every day, so if you're on a very restrictive diet, it makes everyday life a little bit uncomfortable.